Welcome viewer, explorers of the past and seekers of untold stories, to history unrevealed. Set up camp in the midst of the frigid temperatures of Antarctica, an exploration group from New Zealand was on a mission. Their objective was to investigate a secret estuary hidden beneath ice layers. The researchers were on the verge of an unprecedented revelation as they stood on this icy expanse that was shrouded in mystery and isolation. It had a story to tell. Scientists were overjoyed when they discovered a hidden world beneath Antarctica beneath the ice. Unknown objects were floating in front of the lens, obstructing the video feed as they peered into it. Additionally, what secrets did they possess regarding the alien world beneath the ice? Throughout the long term, the fragile biological system of Antarctica has been a subject of serious examination by researchers. Its weakness, particularly with the changing worldwide environment, stays a huge concern. Furthermore, this discovery added yet another layer of complexity, making it possible to discover insights in the most unlikely places. These new discoveries can possibly reshape our insight about Earth's generally mysterious landmass. Antarctica's secrets entice with commitments of unrivaled bits of knowledge laid out in 1992. New Zealand is home to the newer National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research. Their main goal has been to make people more aware of our natural surroundings. The members of the team hope to promote a sustainable strategy for protecting Earth by examining resources worldwide and in their home countries. This association has been instrumental in driving critical exploration in the natural domain. Their responsibility mirrors a well-established regard for the normal world and a devotion to safeguarding its miracles for people in the future. All through the many years most current researchers have reliably pushed the limits of natural examination. They look at everything from climate change to the growing aquaculture industry. In the meantime, at the colleges of Otago and Auckland, endeavors are in progress to figure out the likely effects of waves or New Zealand. The southernmost continent on Earth, Antarctica, is evidence that nature has granted you an enigma. Traversing north of five million square miles, it exhibits immense stretches overwhelmed by thick ice layers. Ice sheets and ice masses store tremendous measures of water, and their softening examples can impact ocean levels and maritime flows. Without a doubt, Antarctica remains as a geographic diamond, monitoring unseen insider facts essential to figuring out our planet's biological balance. The situation that develop in Antarctica have expansive ramifications universally. The dissolving of its glacial masses can set off an ascent in worldwide ocean levels, endangering beachfront networks around the world. In an effort to unravel its mysteries, researchers from all over the world have established Antarctica as their research hub. The ice shelves, which span thousands of square miles and serve as natural barriers jutting into the ocean, are one of their primary focus areas. In particular, the Ross Ice Shelf is notable not only for its enormous size, which exceeds 180,000 square miles, but also because it serves as a crucial indicator of the health of the polar ecosystems. Despite its remote location, with New Zealand being the closest landmass about 3,000 miles away, Antarctica remains irresistible as a lua due to its size and features, which provide a one-of-a-kind window into the delicate balance of the polar environment. Many people have wanted to go on difficult expeditions over the years because of the mysteries surrounding the frozen continent. There have been numerous expeditions throughout history, ranging from the discovery of trade routes to scientific knowledge, and in 2022, news from this region captivated the scientific community. In May of that year, an examination group declared a revelation that could rethink our understanding of this frozen landmass. Each new disclosure provokes worldwide interest, pushing the limits of human comprehension a long way from the brutal Antarctic climate. How Hargan, a famous scientist from Victoria College of Wellington, was fascinated in his New Zealand research facility, he coincidentally found something surprising in the satellite pictures of the Ross Ice Rack. This perception drove the group to conjecture about a covered estuary underneath the cold mantle, a possible huge advantage and understanding Antarctic as subglacial biological system. For quite a long time, 
Scientists guessed about an obscure, perplexing scene hiding underneath the ice layer set apart by highlights like waterways and lakes. Yet, valuable chances to jump profound into this covered world were scant. Interest and endeavor was gathered to research Oregon's oddity and reveal its privileged insights. However, there had been few opportunities to delve deeply into this occult realm up until recently. As a result, plans were made for an expedition to visit the Harjun's anomaly and learn more about it. A couple of years post the disclosure, a group set out to the area pinpointed by Horrigan, a site perceived as the Cam I stream going with Stevens, a scientist for Fresher, were specialists from the colleges of Auckland, Otago, and Victoria, as well as GNS Science and Ecological Consultancy situated in New Zealand. The scientists confronted various obstacles. Stephen's dividing experiences from the campaign referenced the disparities among the satellite symbolism and the ground reality. But after careful observation, a subtle slope was found, and they thought they were in the right place. Pinpointing the specific area frequently demonstrates testing in such examination missions given the powerful idea of the ice and the steadily moving landscape, exact route turns into a dance between science instinct and experience the showing up in Antarctica in January 2022. The group was overflowing with expectation anxious to investigate what Oregon had distinguished on the Ross Ice Rack. However, nature had a surprise in store for them before they could even begin their primary task. Unexpected occurrences can disrupt even the most meticulously planned research projects. Once the shockwaves from the ejection began to blur, Tonga wound up confronting an overwhelming wave. Their months after the fact, more current specialists noticed bizarrely sensational dusks, ascribing them to exactly the same seismic movement. These events served as a tangible reminder of how actions in one region of the world can have an impact thousands of miles away. In spite of the Ross ice rack distance from the emission's focal point, the sensors the group had conveyed on the ice gotten pressure waves. These waves resounded inside a profound underground chamber. The team was taken aback by this unexpected discovery, which hinted at the eruption's scope. This is a demonstration of the way that our reality is interconnected in manners we frequently don't completely get a handle on. Stevens said that it was truly amazing to see the effects of the Tonga volcano, which was thousands of kilometers away, and that it also serves as evidence of the intricate interconnectedness of everything on our planet. Such occasions demonstrate the way that activities in a single region of the planet can have outcomes somewhere else. The environment is changing, and there are as yet key viewpoints science hasn't completely unwound. Environmental change and worldwide interconnectedness have become crucial subjects in this day and age. The team refocused on their primary mission, which had brought them to this location after the initial excitement and astonishment of the volcanic eruption. However, they soon ran into yet another enormous obstacle. The team faced significant logistical difficulties as a result of this natural barrier. Be that as it may, they were undaunted their assurance immovable despite snags. The mission for information can push us past our apparent cutoff points. Courageous by the overwhelming test ahead, the group utilized a hose loaded up with boiling water. After a time of difficult work and relentless commitment, they in the long run prevailed in their undertaking. When the camera started sending pictures, the group saw includes that opposed their current convictions about Antarctic ice. Stevens commented, it was a snapshot of critical disclosure for us. The discoveries were startling, provoking a tornado of inquiries and speculations. The fact that the melted water was not as smooth as they had anticipated was the first surprise. These underlying discoveries were at that point revealing new insight into the subglacial climate. Stevens dove further into the perceptions, noticing it looked like a portion of bread, a lump on top with a tight slant at the base. The water showed a few layers, each streaming in unmistakable headings. Nonetheless, they convey significant ramifications for Antarctic examination and comprehension of sub-frigid cycles. An unmistakable update, even the subtlest of revelations can reshape our insight and challenge winning presumptions. Stevens added that this alters our current understanding of these environments, 
as well as our models of them. He emphasized that figuring out what this means for melting processes will require a lot of research. As the group contemplated the ramifications of this unforeseen find in the ice, a considerably more prominent amazement looked for them. Those who venture into its depths are constantly challenged, surprised, and educated by the frozen continent. As the camera dropped further diving into the sub-cold cave, snapshots of uncertainty and reflection are ordinary and logical undertakings, particularly when confronted with extraordinary discoveries. What were they doing in such a remote and extreme setting was the immediate concern. Every time life shows up in unexpected places, it always makes people wonder and makes a lot of questions. However, the evident the truth was in that general area before them testing prior convictions and uncovering new ponders. These insignificant beings appear to defy scientific comprehension and logic. These minuscule animals challenge our biases, filling in as an update that life is strong, versatile, and brimming with shocks. The sheer number of animals swimming around our camera indicates that an essential ecosystem process is occurring there. We will proceed with our examination by investigating water tests. Through these examples, we intend to test parts like supplements to acquire a greater comprehension of this ecosystem. Despite this, the researchers are apprehensive. They accept they may be attempting to beat the odds to comprehend stowed away biological systems like this before they evaporate for eternity. Strangely, the New Zealand group isn't the main one to have uncovered indications of something going on under the surface profound inside the frozen landmass. In February of 2021, Specialists from the English Antarctic study shared their discoveries from an undertaking to the Channel Ron ice rack. This disclosure added one more layer to the perplexing embroidered artwork of Antarctic investigation. Disclosures like these grow how we might interpret life's flexibility in the planet's cruelest environments. Their central goal there was to dig into the interesting geography of the district and roughly 1,200 miles west of the peculiarity that Oregon at first pinpointed examinations like these are urgent as Antarctica stays a domain loaded up with puzzles that science is simply now starting to unwind. Every investigation adds one more part of the immense riddle to accumulate tests. The group confronted the overwhelming undertaking of entering an ice layer roughly a portion of a kilometer thick. Geologist James Smith and his colleagues used hot water in a manner similar to that of the New Zealand researchers. Conquering such circumstances features the devotion of specialists. They were unable to collect any sediment samples from the ocean floor, despite numerous attempts. Such carefulness can prompt noteworthy disclosure as the camera made its plunge toward the maritime profundities. Smith observed its crash with a stone. It's not like there are many of these at the bottom. Field research frequently encounters such unexpected obstacles that require constant revaluation and adaptability. Field work frequently presents unexpected challenges that test researchers' adaptability and creativity. At first, the team hypothesized that they had simply selected the wrong drilling location. However, this suspicion moved when researcher How Mike Griffiths dived further into the visual information. The pictures from the profundities held a greater number of insider facts than at first obvious. He saw that the stone was decorated with an odd layer. Griffiths proposed that the layer covering the stone may be fertilizer of some type of microbes. Dissipated across the stone surface, he recognized a few wipes creatures known to worldwide flourish in submerged conditions. No one expected to find life, let alone of this sort in such a spot. According to Wired, the rock that Smith unveiled is more than 150 miles from the nearest light source, further complicating the mystery of these organisms, whose adaptability makes them appear almost alien, is the fact that it is even further away from any known food or nutrient source. It is fascinating and perplexing to observe such resilience in difficult circumstances. These organisms' methods of survival challenge our understanding of life. While it's typical to experience animals on the planet's sea profundities a long way from any daylight, the food required for endurance commonly comes from the sunlit surface layers of the seas, and most areas, 
They feed on the organic material that streams down from upper waters. Be that as it may, in this example, these wipes live underneath a thick ice layer. However, for this nutrient source to feed the sponges on this far-off rock, it would have to travel a significant distance. It's possible that these fundamental supplements traveled near 400 miles prior to showing up underneath the channel neuron ice rack. There will be an incoming flow to replace that elucidated, rich movie from the California Academy of Science during a conversation with Wired. He added, and this flow spanning hundreds of kilometers will transport organic matter feeding the life below. Such dynamics influenced marine life in ways that we are still discovering. Therefore, could it be that these currents carry the essential nutrients that the isolated organisms that are found beneath the ice of Antarctica require to survive? Such secrets highlighted the confounding and wondrous nature of Antarctica and its secret biological systems. Unfortunately, these fascinating inquiries will stay unanswered until an ensuing endeavor gets back to Antarctica for closer perception. Griffiths, on the other hand, shares the concerns of researchers who found similar signs of life on the Ross Ice Shelf months later. He worries that these phenomena might be on the verge of disappearing. He voiced his interests to Wired, expressing, quite possibly a portion of these huge ice stages could implode from now on, and we could lose a novel environment. These sentiments highlight the air tendency of conservation efforts, as these ecosystems' fragile balance is in jeopardy and their loss would be enormous for the planet. As we reach the final frames of today's video, we want to extend our heartful thanks to each and every one of you for joining us on this adventure. Your time and attention are truly appreciated. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to show some love by liking commenting, and subscribing. We're immensely grateful for your support. Until our next rendezvous, keep exploring, stay curious, and most importantly, thank you for watching.